Hello, everybody. And welcome. I gotta do something really quickly, though. But just stop this music. By the way, it might be one of my favorite songs from this, um... From this game. I don't know why I like the game so much. Because it was really simple. It wasn't anything super spectacular. But that... The soundtrack was fucking sick. The soundtrack was really, really good. Um, just make sure I'm not too loud. Let's turn myself down just a tad bit. Got to get those levels manageable. All right, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then turn that up just a little bit. Let me join this chat. There we are. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. And I'm going to do this. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Test, test. Hello? I can I can hear you. I can't hear you. How about now? I can, I can hear, hear you. Now. Okay, cool. I can hear y'all. Everyone hear me? Yes, yep. yes. Good shit. Alright. Alright. Uh I got my stream started already. All yeah. Right. So should I should I play vampires again or should I play Feldegriff? That's up to you, buddy. I'm I don't think it matters. Yeah. Um, I need to get this window capture correct. That's not correct at all. Oh, Jesus. OBS, please. Is joining us? I don't know. Um. I could see if Tristan wants to play. I think he went over to, um, to actually play, like, Paper Magic, I think. Oh, that's why you're not showing up. Duh. There we go. Right. I'm gonna... There you go. Is it Magic Boys or Magic Men? Magic boys. Magic, ma <laughs> magic elders. <laughs> magic boys. Um, let's stick with magic boys today. Next week it might it might change to magic something, like magic elders. Go. All right. Um. Let's see, the levels should be good. Okay. I could try to save my password. That's cool. Mm -hmm. oh, I gotta change my uh, the stream title. It's no longer time to infect. Yeah. Well, this is round three, right? I guess technically, I, I mean, sure. Yeah, yeah. Even though I have it, like, I have mine as, like, uh, it was supposed to be, like, the Pro Tour Day 2. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> Magic, it's, I think it's Magic Boy's Pro Tour Day 2, so. Interesting. Um, I, had a, I have a lot of just decks that I need to get off of here. I've got like three and dollars. All right, I'm ready to start. I think I'll stick All with right. Tazari.
All right. So I'm uh, I'm just playing vamps again. I want to kind of keep play test play testing this deck. Basically the same with me and my um my party deck. Ooh. I'm both playing five color. Ooh. I'm playing mono color. <laughs> All right. Let's do what it wants. Uh. Why? Oh, this kind of sucks. Uh, I actually don't know if I want to keep that. I rolled a seven. I rolled a four. Um, am I going to mulligan or not? I kind of feel like I should, but I also feel like if I do, I might just get a worse hand. So I don't know. I'm going to keep. I'm going to go ahead and keep. I'll attempt this. This is better. I have like two lands now, so. Actually, I don't in my hand's a pretty good curve. Oh, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. You're good. Uh, I, I don't, yeah, I don't have a good curve, but I've got good mana at least. Uh, all right. So whenever you guys are ready. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping it. I'm good. Why do you only have six cards? Uh, Yoshi, did you mulligan again twice? Yes. True. What? What? What artwork is this? <laughs> right. <laughs> I just I want the one that tells me what the card does. Did you get one of those so, full arts? So what I've done yeah. is I just went because I just updated my shit because it was like we don't have the correct. Um, I had some like cards in Spanish, so I just went and was like, okay, right, what's coming out? Commander, Commander Masters, cool. That's the latest set. I updated it. I'm good. So whatever happened to like mtgcards.info? Because I know like Scryfall is the place to go now, but that used to be like kind of like a, a gap. I have site. honestly, I have no. Ew, what is this on my mat? I have no idea actually. You know what I'm talking yeah, about, right? Like, I, I really like their stuff. layout. I want to know what happened. What happened to Magic Online? Remember that? I see. I never played Magic Online. Cockatrice <laughs> has always been my my Magic Online. Well, I I saw it and like people were. The only time people I've ever seen anybody really play it, it was like only modern and drafts, uh, or or cubes rather, because apparently like playing command or anything else was just a nightmare. Oh yeah, having to pay for all of those cards. Good lord, fuck that. And then um, and then out comes arena, which kind of just, I guess it kind of just kills Magic Online. Completely. Well, it probably just had a better um, profit uh, mechanism for uh, for Wizards of the Coast, like a better, uh, and just made them more money. Yeah. Well, I, think I, the I guarantee uh, that's was, the kicker. Arena was supposed to be like a direct com competition to like Hearthstone. That's whereas Magic mm. o Magic Online was was very old, and uh, they didn't update that, really, did they? Yeah, like they didn't. Right, they didn't keep up to date with it. So all the people who sunk money into but, it just kind of got screwed. Yeah, kind of. But it's, fu get fu it's get funny, fun though, supported. because, like, it, Arena's not on phones yet, or it's not for mobile yet, right? Uh, I don't think so. Which Hearthstone is. Well, I think Arena's still in beta. Oh, okay, okay. Or at least when I was playing, it was. And, and while I was playing it, they did change quite a few things. Mm, okay. Like as time went on. So are we are we waiting for something? Yeah, I'm uh changing the that didn't work. Fuck. Alright, anyway, I know what the card is. Just trying to change the art. Oh okay. Yeah. I just disabled all the promos, but that well, actually kinda works better. There's <laughs> so many promos. So I'll just yeah. get it through them. Um <laughs> uh, There's an absurd amount of promos. Don't they create promos for like every big tournament? I guess. Uh, I don't 
Go ahead and just play this command tower. Oh. And pass. Hold on, I'm heating up food. I don't know whose turn it is. It's mm -hmm. gonna be your turn next anyway. Alright, I just gotta put this in the microwave. Kind of nice. I have Discord on my uh, phone, so I can get up and walk around. Cool. Pass turn. Draw. First main. Um. You know this memorabilia shit. Uh. I have swamp. no idea what that is. Okay. And. Set type. Untap upkeep draw. That's a thing. Gonna play this breeding pole tapped. And pass the turn. Alright. Hang on. Mm -hmm. That's the <laughs> Well, whatever. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Is X Mage still around too? Um, I think Matt? so. Okay. I kind of like both, to be honest. One, like one's a kind of um. One's more paperish, and the other one's more like. Um, what's it called? Quality of life stuff. Okay. All right. First main. Main. Point. Uh, Witch's Cottage comes into play tapped. Oh. Kind of thinking about cutting this card in this version of this deck. I find every time I build a, I build an, e, an EDH deck, I kind of find myself creating variations of it um, that like kind of branch off in different sub themes. And I kind of think I don't have much, I don't have enough graveyard stuff to kind of bother with Witch's Cottage. I don't know. I would definitely say Bajuka Bug because it's just a black. You just tap, you just play it, and somebody's graveyard's gone. So like my, I actually am pretty sure I have Bajuko Bog. Okay. It's it's a good um it's a good against people who do a lot of graveyard shenanigans. Which would be my um. Which would be my uh zombie deck. I'm gonna play this rampant growth. Okay. Um. I'll allow it. <laughs> grab a planes. <laughs> That art's not showing up. That's really I don't weird. That ugly art. Do you also have like the one with the border, like the have, heavy border? They're, they're like really old-looking planes with full art. Yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, that's me. I, you know, it's weird. Um, my my damnation shows up as uh, as like this weird fucking like kind of Egyptian hieroglyphic looking. Oh Does yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even look like a real MTG card. It looks very bootleg. Well, the thing is, they had a whole set like that, though, with Almond Cat. Mm -hmm. And they did special, like, Egyptian hieroglyphic cards, which they kind of look okay, but it, but playing with them is a nightmare, because try, like, reading that card. No, I'm hip. Like, it's, like, just super illegible. Yeah. The only one, the ones that were really good was, um, uh, what was it? They had a whole artifact um, set that I can't think of the name of it now. Aether Revolt, I think it was, and they did special. They did a special soul ring. Um, all of your major artifacts. They did special art for those. Now those look really, really nice. Those are called masterpieces, right? Master, yeah, masterpieces. That's when they started with the whole masterpiece stuff, and then um, they started doing it with more planeswalkers, and you know, I think each set now has you know different art for them. It's your turn, by the way, Matt, when you get a chance. Sorry. No, you're good. Um, pass, untap, 
up to draw. By the way, I'm going to be eating, so if the sound bothers y'all, I can mute myself. Okay. Uh, I know if Sam were here, I already muted because he's got that whole um, he dislikes it. thing. Yeah. There was a way to Let's see. Man, it's set. Go play this exotic orchard. Is it unstable? Gonna. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead oh. and play this. <clears throat> go ahead. I'm sorry. Cultivate. Okay. If you want, what type of lance did you want? Because I just did you want like just the uns regular, just regular? Because I did the unstable ones, and they're like decent. If you wanted those, just basic. Let's see what basic I have. All right, that's one. So that's what I'm getting. Okay. The island and the mountain. And I will put the mountain on the play tapped. And put the island in my hand. Cool. All right. And then enter. Cool. All right. Draw. Oh, God, I'm going to miss a land drop. My bad. Well, um, tap two, I think the first name, um, I'm going to play Gifted Aetherborn, Death Touch, Lifelink, uh, two, three, and that is going to be the end of my turn. Cool. Untap, upkeep, and draw. I'm going to play this forest. And for four mana, cast this Path of Discovery. Oh god, not that. Just the Path of Discovery. Okay. And that's me. Untap, upkeep, draw. I started to read Path of Discovery as whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kinda <laughs> sick. <laughs> Once right, you get everything on Go ahead. I'm gonna play my commander. Okay. And then end turn. Alright. I wonder if I'm gonna miss another land drop. I knew I should have mulligan. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Play him to lose him. So tap two. Gatekeeper of Malik here. And I'm gonna kick. Okay. And. I'm going to hmm, for combat. I'm gonna swing at use Yoshi. That's fair. Mostly because I swing at uh Matt. He's probably just gonna retaliate and kick me for two. Plus he could he could mode. block if he wanted to, but yeah, but it's a two three with death touch side. Oh so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that is going to boom 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 boom. Uh, no idea what second main. That is the end of my turn. Yeah. All right. Untap, upkeep, and draw. That's a good one. 
that's a card I sure let's play this watery grave and I will take two from it um, gonna cast this fell or stone um, okay Gonna cast this Yisan, the Wandering Bard. Interesting. Uh, okay. All right. It enters the battlefield. I get to explore. I have to reveal the top card of my library. So I reveal the top card to all players. Uh, it is a land. Uh, try them. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Um, now, when you do that, will that reveal the, the next top card of your library? Yeah, so I'm going to like stop doing. That. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Because it because there's an always reveal top, and then there's reveal the top cards option. Okay. So let's so let's see. Nope, it does not. Huh. There you go. Um, I can dig it. That's me. Cool. All right. Um, untap, upkeep, draw. Okay. The player planes. And then one, two, three, four. Right. So uh, I'm gonna play this ha hammer. Okay. Any responses? Oh, you're both tapped out. Yeah. Um. So when it enters the battlefield or another equipment enters the battlefield, I can attach it to target creature. Okay. Oh, so I'm gonna put it on my Sise. And she has so indestructible. She has indestructible. She Is has this I'm sorry. She has plus two plus O oh from the equipment. And then she has plus one plus one because the equipment is legendary. Mm. Is this a Voltron deck? What do you mean? No. No, um, but but he can search stuff based on her power, correct? Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, yeah. isn't the whole point of a Voltron deck it revolves around like putting a bunch of like equipment on a few creatures no. and just no. crushing with them? I don't no, actually. Okay. You, you'll be you'll be surprised when when you actually see what the deck is based around. Interesting. I have a feeling it's more of like he's just gonna pull out big shit, and I don't like it. No. Oh. No. Okay. Um. However, I am going to. I'm gonna, pa I'm gonna end turn actually. Okay. Man, if I miss another land drop, I might as well fucking scoop. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's that's what we want to see. Okay. Swamp. Sweep. Swamp. Yeah. Um, indestructible, huh? Well, I might as well play Veto. It's kind of nice thing about having a cheap commander. All right, playing my commander. And... I'm gonna swing with gifted uh go to combat and I'm gonna swing with gifted gifted aetherborn against you again, Yoshi. Alright. I'm going to gain two life. 
when I gain two life, target opponent loses two life. And so I'm not beating up on you too much. Uh, Matt, I guess, take two. And that is going to be my turn. All right. Uh, untap, upkeep, and draw. That's a card. Going to play this uh, Trinome. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Cast my commander. Why did he cost five? Because, um... When he cost four, because of Yisan? Yeah, he only cost four. One, two, oh, I'm, I'm, I was counting Yisan when I was tapping my mana. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So yeah, he cost, or she cost four. Uh, it, they, them, it, the card, you can't, the paper. You can't assume their gender. That's, did you? I mean, that's true. Did you just assume their gender? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. And then so path of discovery. Reveal the top. Uh, reveal the top card. It is a soul ring. So. Ooh. Um. Put a plus one plus one counter on her, and just leave it. Um, yeah, that's that's gonna be me. Okay, can you uh increase her power toughness? Yes. Thanks. Tap upkeep draw. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. All right. Um, I'm gonna do some some shit. Let's see, say. Yeah. All right. So, first things first. I'm going to pay one. Play the shadow spear. Oh, that's uh, a new card. It, it, it's a legendary, so her power and toughness go up again. Uh, and because of the hammer, I can equip it to target creature. So now it's indestructible, lifelink, trample. Jesus. I know you said this isn't a Voltron deck, but it's starting to look it's, like one. It's, it's not. No, I, I believe you. I believe you. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> it, it might be, but that's not my intent. All right. So <laughs> blue, red, um... Black, white, green, one of everything. I'm going to activate our ability. So you can get anything with CMC uh, five or below. Five. Right? Five or below. Yeah. So I want. Sanctum of All. Oh. Oh, it's just a permanent. For some reason, wait a minute. A creature. Hold up. It's is a this... legendary permanent. Is this fucking shrines? Is this shrines? Yeah. And... Okay. Oh, you know what? <laughs> the only reason why I I might have an inkling as to what this is is because I heard Wayne talking about it. So I don't know if you talked with him, but he said no, he was gonna but, do. But, <laughs> he but, said he was gonna do some but, type of shrine thing. But go ahead. No, but I I've I've done shrines in the past. <laughs> I really like the shrine concept. <laughs> and, and when I heard that M21 had added new shrines, I was like, ooh. Okay. Um, so, play Sanctum of All. Oh, were then, shrines a thing like eight years ago? Because I don't think I remember that being a thing. Yeah, it was in uh, Kamigawa. Oh, okay. So it was old, old. Because Kamigawa was like, what, 2002? Yeah. It's like really old. Um. So they had a shrine for w every color, but then in M21, they made new shrines for every color and the Sanctum of All. So right now there's 11 shrines altogether. Nice. How many of them are you running? 11. 
to knife. All right. Um, draw first main. I'm going to play Goseju, which comes into play tapped. And um. Yeah. So he was um. Your brother was talking about like making shrines and and curses again. So he was going to be Joda. Okay, so I am going to for three. Actually, let me make sure I can do this. So Cisse right now is trample, life link, and indestructible. Yes. Yeah. Okay, she's not hexproof. Not to my knowledge, no. Okay. For three, I'm going to play Ashes to Ashes and Exile, uh, Cisse, and Tazri. I'm going to lose five life. Okay. Uh, non artifact. Um, yeah. Hang on. You, oh. know, you got one flames. Please tell me you can't respond to that. Or actually, uh, Yoshi, do you have a counter spell? Oh no, I don't run counter spells in this deck. <laughs> so unless he has something, I'm your it resolves. No. Now when you exile them, they just go back to the command zone, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I figured. Cool. All right. But they're equi but these are equipment, so. Can I like? Did I give you my ta thank you? I don't know why. Yes, you did. <laughs> All right, and then. So she costs two more. Uh. Yeah, and well, that's now... okay because I already have my I already have my uh, wind condition going. Wonder if I have enchantment removal on this. It's Probably it's it's, bl it's black though, so I'm not sh I'm honestly not sure. Um. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to to combat, and I'm going to just swing with everything. Uh, You met one, three, five, five. Yep. And then I'm going to gain two life because later born. Uh, and then when I gain two life, Vito triggers, and um, I'm at pick two more. All right. Okay. Uh, in combat, and on top of that, let's end the my turn. All right. So. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot I was getting this next turn. Um, tap this trinome for the soul ring. Tap the soul ring and the forest to put a verse counter on Yisan, the watering bard. All right. And I get to search for a uh, card with a creature card with a converted mana cost of one. Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. And put it onto the battlefield. I'm gonna grab this changeling outcast. All right. And then. Now that triggers path of discovery, right? It does before I do anything else. So I get the I have to reveal the top card of the library. Top cards, to all players. Top. It's behind the scenes, so it gets a plus one plus one counter. I like how you can both put the card back or put it in your graveyard. That's really useful. Put what back? Um, Path of Discovery allows you to either put the card back on the top of your Basically loot or... Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, That's That's convenient. <sighs> and then for a, a... That's white right there. So four in total. Luminous Broodmoth. Oh, fuck. This guy again. And then it gets a plus one, plus one counter because, you know, behind the scenes is on the top. Uh-huh. 
And that's going to be me because I cannot attack. I will change its uh, toughness. Here, untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, sorry. Bef I got to put this back. Um, so at the beginning of my upkeep, I can search for a li search my library for a shrine and put it onto the battlefield. So I want. I think it's funny that it says if you search your library this way, shuffle it. I thought it was kind of a given that you shuffle your library after searching it. Hey, you gotta word it though, because it would be mm. some it would be some real bullshit of people would be like, well, it didn't say I had to shuffle it, so I'm just gonna look at the you know look at what I'm drawing right. next for. <laughs> right, right, right. Because apparently with the, um, you know what, they have like new lands, Sanctum of Stonefang. Each one of these is oh, a, Okay. Okay. Apparently with Let these. Me you have a shrine that says if you have X number of shrines, you win the game. Or something similar. No. Nah. I don't know, I mean, if there's 11 of them, it can be kind of fun if, like, you know, if you control 11 shrines, you win the game. I'm so actually surprised there's not a card with because, I mean, there's a card for gates if you control, like... Maybe they should make a 12th shrine. Mm. Just call it the 12th shrine. Well, I mean, if they are... They, I mean, that would have been Sanctum of All, honestly. But, you know. Yeah. Main pay. Uh, I'm going to play um, Nature's Lore. Search for a forest and put it in the play. Now, okay. is this a net deck, or is this a, uh, a homebrew? Stop doing that. I don't know. Oh, wait, this is a net deck. Gotcha. Alright, uh, forest. What kind of forest do I want? I totally want this forest. Wow. Ooh. All right. Uh, how much money do I have? I have five. And I don't want to play that. But... I will move to pre combat, and each of you will lose two, and I'll gain two. Okay. Okay. And main phase two. Uh, I'll end turn. All right. Oh, Christ. I'm going to miss another land drop. Okay. I actually take that back. I thought I thought um, Tristan was going to go play Paper Magic today, but I guess not. At four and play, play Ambitions Cost. I draw three cards and lose three lives. Anybody would respond to that? Mm, go for it. You're fine for me. Cool. Jesus, am I still going to miss a fucking land drop? Holy cow. What the fuck? All right. Wow. That rip. Apparently I sent him the cockatrice link back in 2018. And that was the only time I've talked to him. I think Wayne's off at 9. Oh, I didn't tap my resolve. I should have, should have tapped that. Alright. So this resolves. That fucking rips. I thought I'd at least draw a land. Um. Okay. Start any of this either. What the fuck? Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna swing with gifted. Um, we're gonna start combat. I'm gonna swing with gifted Aetherborn. 
at uh at you, Matt. All right, I'm going to um, gain two life, and then um, Vito's going to trigger, and uh, I guess Yoshi loses two life. Okay. And then at my end step, I'm going to have to discard <clears throat> two. Um, I'm going to discard Cordial Vampire and. So let's see, Cordial Vampire and uh, Bloodborne Vampire. And the same matter. All right. Yep. So untap, upkeep, and draw. So I'm going to oh. use, th um, maybe not this, let's use this for white. Cast Limvala. Oh, hey, it's Limvala again. Okay. And then... So Tazri's cost is reduced by four, but it's up by two. So I have to. So here's one. Get... One white. You can't reduce the tax, right? Yeah. So it's up to. So she's up to like three. Well, so your party max is out at four anyway. Yeah. But you can't reduce tax. Yeah. Oh, now hold on. Isn't the changeling every creature type, and therefore doesn't that? No. 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 It, it. It just. It, no. It, it just counts, counts as one. one. Yeah. Because because that would oh, be oh for okay. each creature in your party okay not for each um I thought the same thing too honestly but yeah so you okay. got a warrior wizard rogue and then um I guess whatever the other thing is yeah reveal the top card it's a Taju Paragon so Tazu will get a plus one plus one counter. I mean that's that's dead ass um, link from Legend of Zelda. Oh, he said he doesn't know. He's about to fall asleep. Got work in the morning. Yeah. Um. Do you Wynn, have? Win says he won't play, but he can judge if we need. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna swing the luminous brood moth at um. David here, because he's just right. going I crazy. I don't have any flyers, so... Oh, I'm going crazy. <laughs> um, that's, that's, that's... Okay, so four. Okay, I forgot to hit four. I can't get a damn land out to save my life. I got four fucking lands to... Let's see. And that's me. Matt's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Untap, upkeep. He did ramp for pitch. two, right? Two lands, if I'm not mistaken. Well, yeah, but still, like I, I've missed at least two drops, possibly three. Oh, yeah, I think I've missed three land drops now. Huh? Um, in your, oh, it's not your upkeep; it's in your pre-combat phase. Okay. Or the first name. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out which one I want. No, you're good. Um, I'm gonna take the Odin of, of Infinite Rage. Oh, okay. Equal to it any target now. Equal to the number of shrines. Yeah, because that's your upkeep. Okay. That's it's actually some target sick ass art. Player, so I can't, I can't do like planeswalkers. That's some sick ass art, to be honest. And that's for real. That's not even like a new. Co okay. Is it a new um, art? No. No. Huh. That's the that's original art. Nice. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna draw for turn. Uh, 
I'll play this Hinterland Harbor. I'm gonna rearrange these a little bit. Okay. Alright, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. It cost five. One, Make the shrines lands. Five. I feel like that might be too three. much. Okay, because you have you have yes. gates, you have temples. Um, yeah. you know, be a bit much. Yeah. It's a seven seven right now. Okay. Uh, why seven seven? How many? I have uh, five, five legendaries. Yeah. And not five. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I was doing something wrong. Um, for each color uh, among other. No, hold on. So it says for each color among other legendary permanents you control. So. Oh shit. That's then just gonna be black, red. Every color, right? No. I'm sorry. For each color among other legendary permanents you control. No, it's gonna be five because of the sanctum. The sanctum is five colors. I misplayed that completely. This whole game is fucked. What is among other legendary permanents you control mean? It means other legendaries. So, so among other... Or... So does that just mean as soon as you have Sanctum of Law, you're immediately 5-5? Five, five? That's pretty badass, actually. Or are you immediately 7-7? Seven, seven? That's what I, I... Yeah. That's what I thought. I totally misplayed... I shouldn't have been able to get Sanctum of All out earlier. Why? Because we thought we thought it was legendaries. Because... How many legendaries yeah. were on the field? Oh, and not... plus one plus one for each yeah. legendary. I mean, it's yeah. fine. Keep going with it now. It's whatever. All right. Well, I've got Sanctum of All, so it's all colors at now at least. So it's not going to get any bigger from its own ability. I mean, it's kind of cool that once you get Sanctum of All, it's immediately, uh, CSA is immediately a 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> if he gets just another five-color card, honestly, she's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Wait, now hold on. You you played Sanctum of All using, um... Uh, Hammer using and Shadow Spear. Oh, but you were... Right, you were, but it's power but wasn't... Yeah, they're just... colorless. So oh. it should have been... It should have been, uh... Plus two, plus one, so plus three, so it would have been five, so I would have been able to get something with four or less, not five. You still could have gotten it. Hold on, hold on. So you had the plus two, the plus one. Oh, okay, right, yeah. The yeah. colorless. No, right, 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 right. You're right. I, I wasn't I mean, talking about I... Okay. Okay. All right, so that's something to pay attention to. Alright, um, I will go to pre-combat, um, you each will lose three and I'll gain three. One, two, three. That's just getting hefty. And then, it, and then I will yeah, end. Just... I'm getting fucking curse flashbacks right now. Alright. Watch me with another land draw. Holy fuck. Ugh. Well. Well, obviously I can tell this is a newer deck anyway because it has Trilands and the new uh, hammer and equipment. Is and of new? course, the Shadow sp the shadow Sphere is definitely new. Or it's okay. fairly new. I'm going to... Um, actually, I think I also fucked up last turn because I used those Seiju... And any time you use those sages, you have to use, you have to pay two life. And I pay and I cast um a uh, sorcery that was four mana. Yeah, ambitions cost. So I should have lost two life then. Let me tell you that. Okay. Um. Uh. 
I'm going to play Bantu's Monument for two. Black creature spells I cast cost one colorless less. Whenever I cast a creature spell, each creature each opponent loses one life and they gain one life. Hmm. Um, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'll allow it. All right. And then <laughs> I am going to um, tap the Seiju. Oh, wait, that doesn't untap those. Hold on. Lose two life. Oh, motherfucker. There we go. You play Demon's Horn. Whenever I cast a black spell, I gain one life. Um, and then I am going to go to my combat and swing uh, this at you and Emma for two. I will just go ahead and go two. Okay. I gain two life. And um, oh, no, I'm blowing up on my upkeep. And triggers uh, veto. 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 Uh, I'm gonna do two damage to that. To me? Yeah. So you get around thirty. Okay. And um, that's gonna be my turn. On your instep, I'm gonna tap Yisan. Okay. Add another counter to him to get a two mana card. Uh. Man, I actually be doing really fucking so good. So really, those land drops. so quick question: Can I just grab this Taiju since it's every? Well, no, it's a two mana card. What am I talking about? Can I grab this Taiju? Yeah. Are you about? yeah. And so. Uh, it... I am now going to reveal the top card. Uh, wait, you grabbed wait, the Taiju for Did you kick it? What? No, I did not. Did you kick? No, I did not. I grabbed it with the Yisan, because I can grab a... It's two yeah, mana. You have, to, you have to shuffle your library. Okay. Um, and then... Hold on, hold on. So... Let me get this straight. Um, so when you put it on the battlefield, you, you, you'd have to kick it. And because you didn't play it from your hand, you can't kick it. Yeah, but I don't really right. want to kick it. I just wanted it. Okay. Um, and then Path of Discovery comes into play and it explores, right? Yep. Um, you know, Not to play your own deck for you. Just make yeah, it yeah, yeah. Follow. So it's a Crackling Doom. If I ever annoy y'all, like, please let me know. I, I appreciate bluntness. No, no, no. It's fine. It's honestly fine. You'd be like, oi, Dave, I'm just like, fuck up. <laughs> um, Taiju's going to get a plus one, plus one counter. And go up in power and toughness. And this uh, Crackling Doom will go into my hand. Do you have any proliferate stuff in this deck? I do not. You probably should put some, some in there. And now I will go to my turn and untap, upkeep, and draw. Uh, play this Tri-Land. Hmm. Cast this whip of Erebos. Oh boy. Uh, hang on. Oh Jesus. Mm -hmm. Y'all want your legendary artifacts? Legendary enchantment artifact. Ooh. Uh, are you are you responsible okay. for that then? No, I'll allow it. Cool. And then I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to swing with the Tazari. The Taiju. And the... Ch Yeah, I'm just gonna swing with these two. At um, uh, who? at David. Um, 
four nine, right? Yes. And they're they're not flying, okay. No, they are not. <laughs> All right. Um, they they only have life link. Gotcha. I am going to block um Tazri with Gatekeeper Malik here and then Okay. Uh, Tajiruda is going to do four. Okay. So you gain six, right? Because you kill the gatekeeper and do four to me? Uh. No, don't I gain? Cause my, the, yeah, I gain. They both have lifelink? Yeah, my creatures have lifelink because of the Whip you of Arrow both. Nine. Yeah, I gain nine. Wait, why nine? Because you're blocking. My creatures have lifelink, so as you block the gatekeeper. I hit it. Right, but I but Tazri only can get lifelink as much damage. So so Gatekeeper only has two toughness. So you're only going to gain two from the it, it deals all the damage to it. It just dies from two toughness. Right, but you only gain as much life as um as the damage as as the, as the I am actually this is where we need our judge. This is where we need the judge, right? Because I'm I'm I I am certain that you're only going to gain two from Gatekeeper. Now I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain. I'll be right back. Why don't you look it up? Alright. I mean, not that it matters that much, but I'd just, I'd like to know. Uh, I'm just gonna look up uh, Magic the Gathering, Life Link. Okay. Um, the ability causes life gain whenever a permanent with Life Link deals any damage, not just combat damage. Uh, whenever this permanent deals damage, you gain that much life. It, it that receives. It. Did you look it up? I'm looking it up now. Damaged up by a source with life link causes that control that source to control or or its owner if it has no controller to gain that much life. If a permanent leaves the battlefield before an effect causes it to deal damage, its last known information is used to determine whether that okay. The life link rules function no matter. Okay, thank you. Multiple sources of life link deal damage at the same time. Okay, that's not what I want. <laughs> All combat damage that's been assigned is dealt simultaneously. This turns based on assigned equal to power. Deal what was assigned. Size of defender does not factor into it. So the so the fact okay. So I thought I so thought you had to have I thought you had to have trample in order to. So like 5, 10, 1A, each attacking creature and each blocking creature assigns combat damage equal to its power. So, right. So, if it's a 5, 7 going up against a 2, 2, it's still dealing 5 damage to the 2, 2. It's and just, it only five takes. Life. Right, therefore gaining 5 life. But, well, okay. But I thought the idea was like it's stealing life from something. So like you know, it hits my player total and takes five life away from me because I have obviously a player total of five life. That's... But if it kills the Malakir guy, I can't steal five life because if he doesn't have five to give, he only has two. So I'll just say do five, and I'll, I'll look into this later. Or I'll, okay. You know, gain five life. So gain nine life, and I'll just uh, look into this later because I could have sworn that's not how it works. Okay. I mean, they could have changed the rules. Well, the rule just doesn't seem to even touch on it. Like I looked up on um, MTG Gamepedia. Um, that that me. Okay, so I I saw okay. a. Oh. Yep. Um. It, so it looks like that is correct. You would gain. Okay. I also realized. Um, because I I have to do this. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. Because of Linvala and I have a full party. Which, 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 uh, which non-land permanent? <sighs> Please blow up sight to the wall. Jesus Christ. Let's, yeah, let's stop him from getting sh just free shit. So you can't use, well, is it an activated ability though? Well, I'm about to look that up. Cause <laughs> yeah, because it might just be, I might, um, it might just be worthless to even target it. To be honest, I don't think that's activated an activated ability. ability. I think that's just a, a at the beginning. Uh, yeah, he's not really activating ability, anything. Abilities of a card that their controller can use whenever he or she wants, mm. providing that he or she can 
pay for it in barring special conditions. Then I will. Uh, I will say. They're always written in the in the form cost effect. Okay. So these are activated abilities. So like if I tap a creature to create um, mana, or you could prevent Sisse. Yeah. Because that's an activated ability. Okay. Not that I really need to use Sisse anymore, but you could. And I'm assuming I could do veto, like you couldn't give his creatures lifelink. What were you gonna use to do this? Uh, what um, what card have you? Played it's it's Limval. It's she was on the field, but I kind of forgot about oh, her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting Before about you know, cards. I think, I think Vito's thing only activated ability is the is uh, the lifelink. Can, right, right. I'll just I'm just but gonna. You, you could do it. Is it non land? Yeah, it's any yeah. non land permanent. Um. You could do it on like the shadow sphere, so I can't make it. So you guys, or you could do it on C so you can't um, tutor stuff. Yeah, I'll just do it on C Target C Okay. And then that's my turn. You're good, man. I gotta remember that she does shit. Lavala does shit. Untap, upkeep. All right, so triggers. Uh, beginning of upkeep, deal damage to target creature or player equal to the number of shrines. I'm going to blow up your uh, Linvala. Okay. Um, hold on, damn it. Get over here. In response to that... You're going to sack it? I wish I could. For three, I'm going to Yi Sand. You're going to what? I'm going to Yi I'm going to activate Yi Sand's ability. Oh, okay. and look for a three. Wait. Couldn't you sacrifice Limbala in response, and that would just give you at least a free hexproof or indestructible for your for your board? I might do that. T yeah. I mean, I could always do that too, but I I do want to search up a creature. It seems almost pointless. Oh yeah, yeah, that that's that probably is a good point. Um. I have way too many, too much good shit in here. Stop it. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna choose Alicia, who smiles at death. Does it go into play? Yes, it goes straight into play. Oh, oh fuck. Um, and then so uh, path of discovery triggers. Reveal the top card of library to all players. Uh, please. Thank you. One. It's a Gilded Lotus. She gets a plus one, plus one counter. Okay. Um. I'm gonna sack Limvala. I have to... Oh, oh, I have to... I thought Limvala was dead. I thought Limvala got killed by Hanbin. Well, no, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Yeah, this is all in a stack. I can... I can still sack her, right? Yeah. All right, I'll still sack her. Yeah, but I... oh, it's or it's it's or indestructible. So I think I'll uh, I'll choose indestructible. Yeah, prevent a board wipe or something. Yeah. Not that I'm gonna board wipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you you can go. That that was all I wanted or can do really. Okay. All right. Uh, and so it's still. During my upkeep, uh, I'm going to search for a shrine. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to get the Odin of Night's Reach. Okay. Oh, that was all during the end of his turn, right? Or during his... That was during no, his upkeep. During the upkeep. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. That had, that had me all fucked up. Sorry. All right. Now I'm going to draw. I also thought uh, Limvala was like a 2-3. Like a which is why I got the um, Alicia, but I guess she's not. <clears throat> I'm going to pay a white and play the Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Tap target creature. Oh, wow. So right now it costs... Just one white, right? One white. Damn. Yeah. Um, 